Hello and welcome to a special classroom edition in the Fall Color video series. The beauty of Fall Color is an especially exciting time to educate kids about the science that goes into creating one of Mother Nature's greatest spectacles. Watch as we visit West Liberty Salem Elementary School in Champaign County. Fourth grade students from West Liberty Salem Elementary School file in one by one, collecting a single leaf as they enter the classroom. A hands-on lesson in science is just what these kids need at the end of a long school day. Now, during the presentation, what do you these kids already know a little something about why leaves change color and drop every fall. But today, they're going to get an in-depth look at what creates this process. Okay, every year the leaves fall off the trees. But After a basic explanation as to why leaves change color and fall from the trees, they get their shot at being part of the process. Um, can I get six volunteers? Oh, we got volunteers are easy to come by. After adding some chlorophyll and sunlight, the students now know where the green color and leaves come from. In the fall, as chlorophyll breaks down and the sunlight increases, the leaves produce a chemical called anthocyanin, which produces reds and purples that we can see in the leaves. Next, the reduction of sunlight causes a different chemical reaction, producing carotenoids, bringing out the yellows and oranges that we see in leaves. Anything like that, the, the carotenoids are always present. Kind of Finally, and perhaps more informative than anything, the students get answers to questions in their inquisitive mm -hmm. minds. What color do nettles do? Nettles, they just... Every so student can really make connections with hands-on learning. So, um, I think any time that you have an opportunity that you can do something that uh, they can, you know, pick up and touch and look at and take apart, then you're going to reach everybody that way. So, um, I think it needs to be hands-on to have that lasting type of learning that we want. And to connect it with the environment and their outdoors, um, we want them to be lifelong learners. I think that's just the basis of why we do what we do. So much they do is just with pencil and paper sitting at their desks and uh, it gets a little boring sometimes. So if they can get up and move and they can get up and touch things and see things and, and listen to somebody besides us every day, um, it, it's better for them to have a little variety of learning style. It makes me feel really good, um, especially when I am just observing and you hear conversations about what you've just covered and you hear kids actually talking about it. Um, just on their own, not being prompted. For me, that's my evaluation, is when I see, you know, what I've presented and what I've facilitated to them, and then they carry on with that, um, and those light bulbs go on. That's, that's my reward, I think. Those students definitely had a great time, and so did I. And that's great because we're all learning about the outdoors. If you're interested in more educational resources available through the DNR, please check out this link. And for outdoors fun for the whole family, check out ExploreTheOutdoorsOhio.com. Thank you for watching this year's Fall Color video series. And for all our videos, visit YouTube.com slash TheOhioDNR. And make sure you come back next year where we'll have more updates.